Welcome back. New at 5, you wouldn't know it by just looking at her, but a little girl in Owensboro is battling cancer but continues to bring joy to the hospital patients and her family. 44 News reporter Emmy Faisenbaker has a story you'll only see here on 44 News. Mamie Strassner is like any other little girl. She is full of energy and is dedicated to trying a number of sports like volleyball, softball, or even cross country. And being one of five children, she knows what it's like to be part of a team. But last July, something changed. She was trying to read when all of a sudden, I was like, I can't see. Her mother, April, immediately thought she just needed glasses, scheduling an appointment with an eye doctor who then told the family they needed to go to the emergency room. About 10 o'clock that night, they said that I had a brain tumor. The tumor was pressing on Mamie's optic nerve, and now the family's world had turned upside down, having to drop everything to head to Cincinnati Children's Hospital. It was a really tough conversation to have to, you know, these kids are, they're, they're very tight. Um, they're each other's support system and um, she was upstairs packing and they were just sitting here staring you know it was everybody was in shock it was news that was hard to grasp and here we are landed in a hospital in another city and um, with this huge diagnosis but Mamie remained optimistic encouraged by her faith I think I was just like I can do this to like just just don't be scared because I mean I I know God has me in his hands. So. Even staying strong for the ones who love her the most. April would cry, don't cry, Mom. Mm -hmm. God's got me. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. The surgery was a grueling seven hours long, but the tumor wasn't able to be removed completely because of the placement. But Mamie used one concept to help guide her through her recovery. One, two, three, four. When I held her hand and she kind of opened her eyes and I said, um, Mamie, can, can you talk to me? And she really couldn't form any words, um, which she, I can imagine how scary that would be for a kid. Um, but she started to sing one of her favorite worship songs. Lord, you are good, and your mercy is never ending. Singing, that was her constant, shining her light onto others, even though she couldn't move her legs and had barely any motor function in her hands and fingers. Over the course of 21 days, she gradually got better, playing her piano while lying in the hospital bed for all to hear. Once the results finally came back after the surgery, the neurologist informed the family exactly what type of brain cancer they were dealing with. It's called a DLGNT, it's a diffuse leptomeningeal glioneuronal tumor. Um, I'd never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> but her journey isn't over yet. Through oral chemotherapy, Mamie has continued to battle through this obstacle, and the progress seems hopeful. Our oncologist came to the room after her scan in December, and he said, I can't explain it, I don't understand it, but we've had a reduction in the tumor about 25%. Mamie tells me her faith is her constant. It has been the anchor to help guide her through this difficult time. And for this young, inspiring kid, there is so much left in store. I start CrossFit on Monday. Reporting in Philpot, Emmy Faisenbaker, 44 News.